In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got two video clips on your timeline, you should make sure that they're sitting next to each other. So you've got your first clip here and there's no gap and it goes straight into the second clip. Now, from here, we can go into our project window and we want to begin by creating a new black video. So we'll go new item, black video, and we'll press OK on that. We'll drag the black video onto video layer two, and then we'll drag another black video onto video layer three. Now from here, you want to turn off your video on video layer three. So we'll press the I button there. So that's going to turn that off. We'll go to black video on video layer two. We'll go into effects and search for crop. Now crop should be in transform and once you've found that you want to drop that onto video layer two. Now inside of crop, we've got left, top, right and bottom. We're going to pull the left all the way up to 50%. Now from here, we want to turn off video layer two, turn on video layer three, and we're going to drop crop onto that black video as well. Now on video layer two, we increase the crop on the left by 50%. So on video layer three, we're going to increase the crop on the right by 50%. So we've got a video cropped to 50% on both layers. Now from here, we're going to go to the very end of the first video. And then from there, we're going to go back on ourselves by three keyframes. So we go one, two, three, and we'll create a brand new keyframe on left. Then we'll go to video layer three and we'll create a brand new keyframe on right. Now we'll move three keyframes to the right. And then we'll do another one keyframe. So we'll do four in total and we'll create another keyframe on both of those. Now you want to go back to that first keyframe that we just created and we're going to go to the left by 10 frames. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to increase that from 50 all the way to 100 percent. So that is going to transition in. Now we want to go to our video on video layer three and we want to do the exact same thing. So we're going to go to that first keyframe on video layer two and we'll go to the left 10 frames again. And we'll increase that up to 100%. And if we play this back, we can see that it transitions in. Of course, though, if that's a little bit too fast for you, though, then you just want to pull this first keyframe over to the left. Just make sure that they both sit in the exact same position. So we'll drag the blue line over to the left, drag that first keyframe and put that on top of that blue line. Now we'll go to video layer two. We'll do the exact same thing. And when we play this back, that transitions in. Now the problem if these keyframes don't line up. So let's say the first keyframe on video layer three is here and then on video layer two, it's here. If we play this back, you can see one side animates in before the other one. So you don't want to do that. You want to avoid that by making sure that both keyframes sit at the exact same point in time. Now we're going to go to our last keyframe of that sequence. We'll move to the right. We'll increase to 100%. We'll go to video layer three. We'll pull that up to 100% as well. And when we play this back, we've got this really nice closing border transition effect happening. Of course, though, it's a little bit too robotic. It's too computer generated right now. So we're going to add a little bit of nice animation to that. So we're going to select all of those keyframes on video layer three, right click on one of the frames and select ease in. We'll do the exact same thing on video layer two. So select all of those keyframes, right click ease in. And when we play this back, there we go. We've got this really nice ease in animation happening to that effect now. And there you go. That is the border closing animation. If you wanted to change the color of the borders, then all you have to do is go into effects, search for tint. We'll drop tint onto both black videos. We'll go on to tint and select matte black too. select the black box and change that to a color of your choice. Make sure you copy this number though. So we're going to select all of that, hold command C, press OK, go to the other black video select matte black to select the black box and we're going to paste that code into that box press okay 
And there you go, that is the border closing transition now complete. It's a fun and really easy way of transitioning from one shot into another and it's going to help to add character to your video. So there you go. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.